Hey guys, for the movement opportunity today, we are doing some crisscrossing. Um, it's really good for your brain to do some crisscross movements, some cross lateral stuff where you're crossing your body. It kind of gets your brain all firing together, but um, we're also doing it as our activity today. And think of the five minute section today of exercise as one minute segments. So we're gonna kind of do the same movement, but every 30 seconds, I'm gonna increase the level. And then after a minute, then I'll change the exercise. Um, so I'll do kind of a introductory level for the first 30 seconds. You can stay at it or you can intensify it with me at the 30 second mark. Additionally, I am going to have a line on the ground. I don't know if you can see it, but right where the concrete is there. If you can have a line on the ground that you are using, that would be awesome as well. Um, but you don't have to have one either. Do not let having a line on the ground limit you from participating today. All right, let's get going. The first move we are going to do is going to be like a crisscross jumping jack, sort of. But to get you started, I want you to squat down a little bit and just hold this pose with one leg and you're just taking the other leg out and back. So we're gonna do this right here for 15 seconds. So join in if you haven't already. We're doing this for 15 seconds where there's a lot of intensity on my thigh. We're gonna switch to the other leg for 15 seconds and then we are gonna add in the true jack itself. Okay? So give me one more here all the way up. Switch to the other side. Up, back, out. Okay, up and out. So we're just doing like a big zigzag. And then when we go into the jumping jack, our legs have already kind of learned the pattern and we just do a jumping jack, but we crisscross our legs in front of us instead of doing them like closed in the center. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, ready? So here we go. So we're just crisscrossing as we go. Crisscross, crisscross, good job. Up and down. Like I said, if you never want to go to the next level, you can certainly just stay with the toe touches or the first level. And three, two, grab the and stop. So now we're doing some twists. So we're here, and all I want you to do is just go back and forth. This is the starting level of this next exercise. So you're just twisting our body back and forth, trying to really control it by your core. All right, it's your core that's keeping the move nice and stable. My knees are slightly bent, but we're going to get moving in a minute. This is where that line kind of comes in handy if you have it. So again, if you don't want to move to the jump, you just stay here, okay, for the next half of this little segment. So ready? I'm finding my line, taking my legs, and I'm just crisscrossing back and forth. So I'm still working on that trunk, but I'm just moving my body as I go. Alright, good job. Ooh, about 15 more seconds. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Good job. Keep it up. You get to hear me breathing really hard here as we go. Good and time. The next move is 90 degree squat. So you're gonna start in the middle and you're gonna squat down. Take one leg, drop it back, and squat, come back to the center. Squat, take the other leg, go back, and down. Okay, so this is our movement, our base movement. And I know it's not, we're not actually crossing our body because we're keeping things very square, but just even changing the direction really helps get your brain kind of triggering in different ways. Last one here, come to the center. Now the next level, stay with that if you want. We're squat jumping, center. Down to the side, and center. So my feet are kind of coming in as I twist, and then I'm ready to face that other direction, okay? And you go at your pace. If you need to go slower than me, please do that. If you need to stay at that base move, please do that. And center, good. Give me one more each direction here. Out and center, out and center. Good job. Now we're just gonna do some punches, okay? So we're punching, punch. Punch, punch. This is the base move right here. Punch, good. So why did I ask you to have a line? It kind of helps to keep you square a little bit. Obviously, if you don't have a line and you're just facing a wall, that's good. But it kind of helps to keep you square in some of these movements as well. All right, ready? The next move. So we're gonna punch, 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 punch. So I'm just moving my feet in and out and jumping backwards. Again, if you don't like this move, 
We just stick with those basic punches, guys. <sighs> Five minutes is working me. Punch, punch, punch. So I'm just twisting as I go. Hip to the side. One more move after this one, guys. Out, out, punch. Good. And punch. Last one. Good. Now this move. Take one leg. This is the base move. Up and over. Up and over. Up. There you go. This is one of my all-time favorite warm-up moves. I feel like it really gets your whole entire hip flexor region. And it takes a little coordination, especially once we get to the next level. But don't let that scare you. I promise. <laughs> Keep your chest up as you do it. Don't hunch over. Now the next level, remember, stay here if you want, or it's kind of like you add a skip. All right, so I'm kind of skipping in place. I'm going up and over. It's one of those things that if you don't get it right away, you're just gonna have to practice and not be afraid to look silly. <laughs> go, go ahead and give it a go. If you can't go do it today, you can certainly always go back to that base move where it's just a tap up and over. But we're almost done with our five minute workout for today. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you for joining in in my crisscross movement for today. Hope to see you again tomorrow to see what's in store. Have a great day, guys.